This is Hayes Q. Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray ball are on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, what's up? You're greatly appreciated. Come on in, make yourself at home. This week, do something I haven't done before. I'm gonna give you a tour of my collection, the different shelves, how I store them. Uh, pretty much my little tricks on how to store over 10,700 movies and somewhat of a confined confined space. I've been doing this for well over 20 years. And as you can see on the screen here, it gives a, a breakdown of what I have. I have about a little over 100 4K, a little over 5,000 Blu-rays, about 600 3Ds, about 5,100 on the DVDs. DVD, CDs, they just scan in that way. They're really DVDs. About 30 laser disc and a little over 80 VHS. So, sounds interesting. Sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. start with shelf number one at the top just gonna have some box sets that really don't fit well in the rest well they fit well but I don't have enough room uh, phantasm on the top six feet under if you can kind of see that and also on the other top shelf George Carlin, Land of the Lost, and Flip Wilson. On the next shelf, these are all my Twilight Time videos here. And if you're familiar with Twilight Time, they're now defunct. Someone else has taken them over, so I don't know who's doing Twilight Time now. Right here in the next shelf, we have my Kino Lorber collection. I love Kino Lorber since they all have a, a unified look. The big tail at the top the Blu-ray insignia, sometimes MGM at the bottom, so it gives a nice clean look to the shelf. Next here, I have some 3D rarities, another box set. This is an old Dollar Tree pickup that I picked up from Dollar Tree when they were still a dollar. Um, the Blu-ray version of that. I have my Torchwood, a couple out of print series. Your Indiana, Complete Monsters. Go down a little bit further here. More Kino Lorber. And at the very bottom on the shelf, towards the bottom here, I have my Sinbad, my Ray, Harry House and Collection, Lord of the Rings Hobbit in 3D. My collector set from Bugs Bunny hiding behind this little door here. My Puppet Master collection and Lost in Space. All right, let's now go over to the next shelf. The top here, a Tex Avery collection I just purchased. These two, some old Dollar Tree DVD sets, the Blue Realm, the Sherlock Holmes collection, over here, more Dollar Tree goodness here. Um, these are actually movies, really cool sets here. On the next shelf, pretty much just this 
bookshelf is pretty much um, the snap cases from Warner Brothers. More over here on the second shelf, more snap cases. Next shelf here down, more Dollar Tree goodness here. My pawn shop collections, the 50 movie packs, a horror classic. Sci-fi classic, it's good to know so you can actually see these. Terror classic and more chilling classics. Go down to the next shelf, more snap cases here. And at the very bottom, she's Shiro being nosy. More Dollar Tree goodness here. And watch out, watch out. And more snap cases and some random Blu-ray sets. All right, let's go to the next shelf. The next shelf here, let me take you to the very top of my drinks and collector's sets we got from the movies. Got my Friday the 13th steel box collection, more buckets and drink, drink holders from the actual movies. This set is more dedicated to my television series. And I got, got these at Big Lots, 21 Jump Street, I have 24. I heard they're coming out with a 24 movie. So I'm hoping to come out with a 24 movie. They're gonna come out with a 24 Blu-ray complete series. They have one now, but it's, it's over in Japan. They want like 400 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. More 24, then I have the 100. 4400 alias drop down a little bit more i got chappelle boston legal boondocks blade the television series slide over here i don't know if you can kind of see it through here black sales black lightning bitten bionic woman which i want to get in blu-ray but they want to arm and leg for that right now uh, ben stiller ben stiller the bad news bears Rest development. I think I'm missing two seasons of that American Gangster off of BET. The rest of Alias drop down. Chocolate News, China Beach, Dark Angel, Dead Like Me, Dexter, the complete series. They have Different World. Hopefully they'll release a Different World, the whole series on that. They've only released the first season. Dirk Gently, great first season. Still haven't watched the second season yet. Eastbound. And down. I have one other set in the back that I haven't put out yet because I haven't shown in the video. I'm still missing the first season. Family Affair, Flintstones, Friday the 13th, the television series, Friends, Good Times, Drop Down. We have Man from Atlantis, the complete television series collection, Love American Style, Lost, Living Single, Land of the Giants, have Johnny Quest and the Jetsons in there. You slide over, you see Jericho, Invasion, Jackson 5, the cartoon, which I think is out of print. Invasion of Doc, of Inspector, no, Inspector Icky, or Ike. In Living Color, H&R, Puffman stuff, which I think is out of print. Um, this guy with bullet, Grady, the one season of the spinoff of Sanford and Son, Good Times. All right, let's drop down. have the second part of Man from Atlantis, all of Martin, Miami Vice, which I have in Blu-ray, but I haven't put that out yet, it's all in the folders. Mind of Mencia, Mind of Mencia the, uh, the Mod Squad, complete season of My Name is Earl, My Wife and Kids, Night Stalkers, Nip Tuck. I know some of these come out, they have them in Blu-ray, but I know they don't have the, I don't think they have the complete season, ser the complete series on Blu-ray. 
uh, Nip Tuck, OJ, uh, ESPN show, Point Pleasant, very cool. Television series only lasted one season. Playmakers as an HBO series. Poultry Guys, a legacy which I haven't watched. Drop Down. We have Six Million Dollar Man, Sigmund Isis, The Shield, Shazam, uh, Spoofs of Sesame Street, almost was this a San, oh, Sanford Arms, which is a span, spinoff of Sanford and Son, Sanford, which is a spinoff of Sanford and Son, Roswell, Richard Pryor, Reaper, which is a very good television series, should have lasted more than two seasons. Uh, Rags, of, Rags and Riches, which, which I haven't seen. Quantum Leap, Leap, and picked this, picked this up like 50 cents at the pawn shop. Haven't watched that. Prison Break in Blu-ray. Uh, the Prisoner, Preacher, fantastic television show. Very underrated. Sleeper Cell, Soap, great season. Great television series. Space, uh, Son, Spawn, the HBO animated series. Uh, this is... Spectacle, season one. I think there's uh, at least a couple other seasons. Speed Racer, the complete series. Spartacus, that was Stars. That was a television series on the Stars Network. Uh, what else here? Surface, that was a one season show. The full series of Square Pegs. Picked that up at Dollar General. Uh, all the seasons Supernatural. Just missing the slipcover on this one. When I complete the set. Tales from the Crypt, then at the bottom, just got this recently, X-Files, one of my favorite television shows ever. Wonder Falls, What's Happening Now and What's Happening. Weeds, a complete series. The Wayne Brothers, I think I'm missing two or three seasons of that. Wayward Pines, great television show that was on Fox, only lasted two series, two seasons. Wanted Dead or Alive, Steve McQueen, love Steve McQueen. The Walking Dead actually have the first. Is <clears throat> that nine? I have the first nine seasons. The other seven are in folders. Uh, VCV, great television series. Uh, the complete series. This is the mini series. This was the television show. This was the actual television show in the movie on Blu-ray. This was the remake of V, which they did a pretty decent, pretty decent job on the remake. Threshold. I haven't watched all this. This was a television show. Another television show only lasted one season. Um, That's My Mama. Classic show. The Tunnel. Taken. And Tales from the Dark Side. Taken was this mini-series uh, about abduction by Steven Spielberg. Fantastic. Wish it had come out on Blu-ray. And this is my television shelf. All right. This next shelf, this is kind of my box set, steel case, miscellaneous section almost. I have my Drinks here, popcorn box, my Superman set, Aquaman, and the drinks. Let's drop down to the first level here. These are, let me take the flash off here. Okay, much better. This is my Shout Screen Factory collection, Amityville Horror, Billy Jack, Critters. Even though this isn't Shout Factory, I just quit it because it's part of the set. Don Nas, The Fly, Freaks and Geeks, Human Centipede, which is out of print, It's Alive, the Jackie Chan Collection, uh, Old Guy Collection, if you can see that. Maybe you can't. Nutty Professor. Then we have the Omen Collection. The Pink Panther, which is out of print. Poison Ivy, I actually had to get that twice. I bought one, one set that actually had the same disc in there, so I had to get another one. REC Collection, The Ring, I just picked that up recently in 4K. I think this is my only 4K Shout Factory Collection box set. Space 99, another one of my favorite television shows as a kid. Street Fighter, a little disappointing in this one. 
Bob Newhart, may he rest in peace. He just passed recently. Drop down. This is my Miles Davis kind of digi book in a sense. Alfred Hitchcock. These aren't Shout Factory. Going back there, this is Shout Factory. WKRP in Cincinnati. These are a couple of Shout Factory animated DVDs um, for Marvel. Underclass, which is the follow up to Freaks and Geeks. A couple of Shout Factory 3D Blu rays, Quackers, and the Seven Dwarfs. I have New Heart, the television show after the Bob New Heart show. I have all that. Scroll over. Then we have the Jeffersons, Heart to Heart, Green Acres, uh, Get a Life, another one of my favorite television shows. At the Cosby Show, first both seasons drop down. Here, I think the flashback on, it's a little dark here. Yeah, it's a little better. These are my Digi books. Amadeus, fantastic movie. Haven't seen Camelot. Haven't seen this in a while. Haven't seen this. Pick this up at Dollar General and Paint in St. Pete. Color Purple, good movie. Fantastic movie. Dark Knight Rises. Haven't seen this. Killer Fields, another one I picked up at Dollar General. Malcolm X, iconic, epic movie. Poltergeist, Wonder Woman. This is actually a Digi book, but it's in. Espanol. Oops. If I can get this open. In Espanol. Next we have the Frank Sinatra collection. No, no, this is the Frank. Darabont collection. Essentially I got it for Majestic. I already had Green Mile and Shawshank, but I didn't have Majestic. It was actually cheaper to get the whole set. Plus, it was a nice little digi book. The Frank Sinatra collection, Son of God, Tuskegee Airman, The Big Lebowski, Divergent. I actually have several copies of this. Just got these at Salvation Army. I think they were like a couple bucks a piece. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Iron Mask, 3D digi book. <clears throat> the Labyrinth over here Little Darlings Life of Walter Mitty Silverado Tank Girl Aliens Indiana Jones I'm missing the newest one that just came out the 8 movie 4K of Fast and Furious I'm missing two of those the Mummy, which are coming out with another Mummy. Uh, E.T., 48 Hours, Golden Child, Coming to America. It's a 4K. Just Another Girl on the IRT. Fantastic 3D move. Fantastic 3D stuff. If you love 3D, it's great right here. Great pieces of 3D. Panther Breakdown. Uh, this is Resident Evil animated version in 3D. I haven't watched that yet. I have my... Avatar first and two on uh, 3D. This can pass this up. This got this at um, a La Familia pawn shop. They only pay like a buck or two for that. So I don't normally double dip, but at prices like that, it's kind of cool. Couldn't pass it up. Here we get into my Marvel sets here. Avengers, Civil War, Ant-Man, Ant-Man, Captain America, Black Panther, Avengers. These are all 3D. These are 3D Japanese versions. Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, um, Eternals, Shang-Chi, Black Widow, Wakanda Forever and The Last Quantum. Oh, um, Ant -Man, Ant Man. And this is not Marvel, but this is the first Japanese import that I got. It's also the first movie that I ever took my son to. Um, 
Wreck It Ralph. Wonder Woman. Now we're going to get to DC a little bit. Wonder Woman. The Superman movie set. Smallville, the complete series. We have Hulk, Flash, and this is just kind of random here because I ran out of space in Texas. Chainsaw Massacre, I got that at Parker Pawn Shop. They only paid like two bucks for that. Let's drop down. And here we're kind of picking up with the Marvel steel cases. And here we're going to my Criterion Collection, Bamboozle, Black Orpheus, The Blob, Bing, John Malkovich being there. Curious case of Benjamin Button, Bottle Rock is blown out. Blow out, Buck and the Preacher, Buena Vista, Social Club, amazing documentary on uh, Latin music, Latin jazz, the Crumb, great, another great, great documentary. The DeGerling Limited. Uh, we have. upside down? No, it's not upside down. It is upside down. Dr. Strange. That's Dr. Strange Love. Let's see if I can get you back in there. Dr. Strange Love. Let's see. The deep cover over there. Funny Games. The game, Ghost Dog, Hoop Dreams, In the Heat of the Night, In Laws, Last Temptation of Christ, Life Aquatica, Lord of the Flies, Love Jones, Learning Tree, The Melvin Met People's Essential Films. I haven't watched any of those yet. I need to watch that. Mississippi Masala, Mulholland Drive, Rosemary's Baby, The Original, World Tenenbaums, Around Midnight. Fantastic jazz movie. Rushmore, Scanners, Time Bandits, To Die For. Just picked that up at Barnes & Noble a few months ago. Video drone. Drop down. And these are more just kind of my steel books over here. Django, The Bourne, Supremacy Classic, Blade Runner 3D, Back to the Future, Collection 3D, Aquaman 3D, Anchorman 1 and 2, which I haven't seen yet. Either one, Alita in 3D. What is this? Aladdin in 3D. Alice in Wonderland, or Alice with the Looking Glass. And here's my Olive film collection here. What's the worst that can happen? Thinner, Street Smart. Some kind of hero, Slaughter. Pressure Point, Mighty Quinn, the Mighty Quinn. Meteor Man, Hoodlum, Hollywood Shuffle, funny, funny film, Hollywood Shuffle, Hit, Hell Up in Harlem, Hammer, Gang Related, that's with Pac. Need to watch that again, I've seen that in a while. Friday Foster, Foxy Brown, Five on the Black Hand Side. If you see these. Coffee. Cornbread and Earl over here. Cooley High. Black Caesar, B Street, Amos and Andrew, Amazing Grace. Welcome home, Brother Charles. Sweet back. Badass song, Silent Madness in 3D, which I haven't watched yet. Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite, Petey Weisraw, Penitentiary 2, Penitentiary 1, Freeway 1 and 2, quirky, quirky, crazy movies, Freeway, Frankenstein in 3D, which I haven't watched. I think that's Andy Warhol. I think I got that from... I have to think about that one. Um, the Fear, Dolomite, Disco Godfather, Death by Temptation, Candy Tank, Tangerine, Daryl, The Human Tornado, Black Mama, White Mama, Sheba Baby, JD's Revenge, Bucktown, 
Body and Soul and Black Caesar. Drop down and we have all my steel books here, Dracula, Face Off, Fantastic Beast, Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, that's in 3D. The Real Ghostbusters Volume 1, I picked up the Pawn Shop along with that one. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. These are all Ghostbusters. Well, they are, obviously, but I don't think they're three, just regular steel books. Gas of Egypt, that should be in 3D. Let's see. Yep, 3D. Gas of Egypt, Grindhouse, Hangar, Heat, Inception, Insurgent, Welcome to the Jungle 3D, Kill Them Softly, Kong, that's 4K and 3D, Lord of Illusion, Lucy, Need for Speed, Pacific Rim, that should be in 3D, Pan 3D, Passengers in 3D, Rampage meets Bigger, yeah, that's in 3D also, well, of course, 3D right there. Ready Player One, 3D. Resident Evil, Scarface, Sin City, that should be in 3D. Star Trek. Steve Austin, Superbad. I know I got this at the pawn shop for a couple bucks. Terminator 2, that's in 3D. Tomb Raider. Underworld, this should be in 3D also. Universal, that's 3D. Van Helsing. Wizard of Oz, 3D. Wolfsbane, I think I got this at Dollar General. And Return of Xander Cage in 3D. And at the very bottom, just kind of random movies. Great movie if you're into, into quantum physics. What the Beep, Down the Rabbit Hole, Upstream, Transformers, Tokens, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Stephen, my Stephen Queen Collection, Sound of Music, Smokey and the Bandit, The Social Network, Saw 2, Saw, Punch, Drunk Love, which I want to get on Blu-ray. Psycho, the complete collection, Pearl Harbor. The Nemesis collection, not a great collection. First movie, cool. Last movie is like really weird, androgynous, soft porn. Not good stuff. Um, Natural Born Killers, I like this. This is a little metal set. Very cool. Metal set here. Magnolia. Okay, this is The Last Emperor in 3D, the Italian version. King Pan, as a mini series on NBC back in the day. Kingdom Hospital also had that in 3D. I think I'll be dropping that around Halloween. My Jurassic Park here, if you can see. Jurassic Park little tin set here. The Jurassic Park Trilogy. Monty Python. Little lenticular case. Crazy, crazy movie. Gone Girl. If you haven't seen Gone Girl, you need to see that. Especially if you're a guy. You need to watch Gone Girl. That's a crazy ass movie. Godfather Trilogy. Dune, the television series, which I haven't seen. David Blaine, I got this at Dollar Tree. Then I have my Star Wars collection here. Star Wars, the original series, 3D. Last Jedi, Solo, Rogue One. Uh, just a Blu-ray of, which one is this? Empire Strikes Back, I think I picked this up for a buck or 50 cents. Which one is this? Can't remember which one this one is 3D. Then I have Andor, the Mandalorian, Obi-Wan, and this. Ah, that's case number four. Let's go to the next. And these containers here, container one, container two, box one, box two, box three. These go under the bed. 
and these have, for lack of a better term, some of my overflow, for example, or VHS movies. This is the last of my VHS movies. More or less kept them around for sentimental reasons. This is all of these are pretty much have the Blu-ray or DVD or I've ripped the DVD copy of it. So it's container one. Container two and some miscellaneous stuff here. X-Files on DVD, Lost. Oh. Over here, more Lost, more VHS. Hammer time! more uh, VHS and then this box is kind of like kind of like my overflow I already have these in blu-ray but can't get rid of some of these though because they have really cool stuff like this the heroes little booklet Side Adventure, Mad TV, The Wire, Sopranos, Supernatural, the, uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street box set, DVD, Smallville, one of these was like a 10, yeah, like stuff like this. With Smallville, you can't really get on the DVD, the little booklet here. Is this a metal case? Yeah, metal case right there, so. Spike Lee over here. Royal Tenon Bombs, Criterion Collection DVD. So this is first box this box here just has an old Gemini mixer from DJing and the last box here is just old school VHS these are the old old original big clunky box holders So this is what's under my bed. This is kind of random here. Jack Ryan collection, Star Trek, Extent, it's all Paramount, Universal right here. Back to the Future, that's my original 3D, the 25th anniversary. Scorpion King, the whole collection. Chucky, the complete set movie collection. Planet of the Apes, Cabin Fever. Go next door here, and my BBC collection. Warehouse 13, Roots, Purple Rain, the Peanuts Collection, Scooby-Doo, complete set, The Matrix, drop down here, we have Sleepy Hollow, I picked up those two for 50 cents at Cash America, my Jazz set, the Marx Brothers Rocky, my David Attenborough, Burl Anthology 3D set Pirates of the Caribbean Toys Lion King We drop down here Oh Dust this off a little bit A little dusty down here I haven't dusted in a while These are my Laser discs down here I'm not going to go through all these though Just maybe the bigger ones Eye on the prize That 1954 to 1965. 
Abyss. Actually have, this is just old, old school. This is before VCRs. Can you see it? Star Wars. And this. Oh, let me open this up. Hold on. This is film strip for a film projector back in the day. So if you're probably under 30, you probably have no idea what the hell this is. It was a film strip. It was a film projector. You show up at home projector and little slides like PowerPoint before Microsoft. And it even came with... Star Wars poster. So this is a Star Wars George Lucas. Film strip. And over here, again, some more random stuff here. These are Dollar Tree, Blu-ray Tans, Fist of Death. Some music stuff over here. Biggie, Beyonce, Eminem, R. Kelly. I think this is some random stuff. At Jamie Foxx, season one, season two. Got some other season coming up. Monsters, Being Human. They got that Dollar Tree. Wire, Soprano, Graham's full collection. Up here, Heroes, Battlestar Galactica. Actually have the original set here. Then get my stereo. Blu-ray player, 4K play, I mean, uh, VHS player, and cassette. Now, you're probably looking at this as like, I don't know, like, you know, damn 10,000 movies. Not done yet. Hold on. Almost forgot the little booklet that comes along with the film strip. Okay, now let's go to the vault. This is what I like to call the vault. You have one, two, three, four, essentially four shelves of movie. Those bottom ones, about four and about four sets. Those at the bottom, those are just CDs. All of these are movies starting from numbers to A. That goes all the way to D. You have D all the way to... I think that's J or K. It's J or K all the way to, I think it's R. You have R and S all the way to Z. This is an empty one right here. I still have to fill up. Over there, I have multiple titles. Let me just show you one of these. I'll show you the little one first. Now, this specific binder has my multiple titles. For example, if a disc has more, than, has more than one title, it goes here. And this one's strictly Blu-rays. You have Shout Factory here. Um, Mill Creek. More Mill Creek here. This is actually one of my first folders. You can tell a little bit older. It's Warner Brothers. Echo Bridge. It 
And these are kind of some randos here. Sony. Millennium. What are these? Alliance E1. Alliance Gate. More randos for the base four. And these are actually some of the old PlayStation 2 games and random stuff here. So this is what how I would store my multiple titles. Now this bigger bad boy here. This is also for multiple titles. But multiple titles. Nope, this is oh this is actually my UFC. This is my UFC one. So these are some UFC fights that I recorded. Uh, King of the Cage, UFC, all UFC fights. Then here are my music videos. Chris Brown, Paul McCartney, Big, Usher, Prince, Brian McKnight, Black Alicious, Destiny's Child, Sade, little something something there, Kanye, Sade Live, Sierra, Kelly Rowland, Sierra. So all this is like music. I leave a little space here for other stuff. But these are my music videos. Let's get into the movies and other titles. This is how I store and categorize my multiple titles, more than one movie on a disc. I do it by distributors. This is universal section right here. These are all universal. And as we progress, I have MGM here. Here we have Sony multiple titles. Warner Brothers multiple titles. Now here it gets a little hairy because the titles are so small, so I have to definitely keep these well organized. When I go to find them, I kind of have an idea of where these are. I believe those are all Warner Brothers over there. These are kind of random distributors. Platinum. These are New Cinema, New Cinema over here. Phase four. More Phase 4, some Shell Factory, Randos, E1, these are Pop Flicks, multiple titles, now it puts this back over where the Universal goes. And these are more random titles. So this is how I store my multiple titles. These are how I store my just normal titles. This is the first one. So I started with numbers in sequential order. Then after the numbers. I guess these are all numbers. There we go. Get into the A's. And each one, they're in alphabetical order from A all the way to Z. Now you're probably wondering, how do I store the artwork? All these folders have different genres. These three are 3D, drama DVD, these are Blu-rays starting from numbers to A to B. And let me break one of these out show you. And these are one of my folders for 3D movies. I have 
uh, multiple titles starting out. Then start going alphabetical order, Captain Marvel, Baby Boss. This is actually from numbers all the way to H. And that's just the 3D artwork. And in this shelf, I have multiple Blu-ray titles, horror, multiple titles DVD drop down here I believe this is blu-ray horror going across so this is how I store over 10,000 movies made this far in the video smash the like give me the big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe 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 leave some comments ring the bell other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.